We're rolling, baby. It is rolling indeed, yeah. Okay! Woo! Hi, everyone! Oh, no, you're drinking that beer. Sorry, I turn around. You can't drink beer. Can, can you? So before we start this video, I just want to say that uh, it's pretty hot. It is um, boiling. I've been sweating all day long and so as I stay and you know when you're oh, hot thanks. and bothered and sweaty you just don't feel right yeah England is going through what some newspapers here are calling a life-threatening heat wave I believe people in other parts of the world call it summer <laughs> but it is quite a novel experience for most British people and I don't like it <laughs> uh, I like it but uh, I'm way too hot we sat down to film this and Aslan was sitting down and I'm like are you okay he's like I'm really hot I'm just really hot <laughs> that's it Hi everyone, I'm joined by this guy. Who are you? At Lion's Mane. <laughs> That's my name, official internet name. This is Lion's Mane here. Uh, this is my boyfriend, in case you didn't know. I feel like I don't have to introduce you anymore, but this is Aslan, my boyfriend. You do mention me quite a lot on social media, so I'm I sure do. most people are aware. But if you didn't know, yes, we are a couple. They, you know, we attached at the hip. Couple of things yes. that we do. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so I thought it would be fun to drag Aslan into this video, although it didn't take much dragging. He loves to be on camera <laughs> uh, and do a non-beauty favorites. Although I'm changing the name from non-beauty favorites to other favorites because they're not non-beauty. They're just yeah. other. They're just other things. I think by saying non-beauty also makes it seem like the world is split into two things. Exactly. Like beauty, beauty and, and non-beauty. We have a selection of things. Some are mine, some are his, some are joint favorites. And I'll let you start since you're the guest. Okay, well that's very kind of you. Thank you. Um, <laughs> so first thing, cooking related, because I love cooking, kind of cooking related, is this. Looks like some sort of medieval torture device, but it's not. What it actually is, is a pineapple cora. That's what they call it. Yes, it is. You know how in the summer the pineapples taste delicious? Well, they taste delicious all year round, but in the summer they're particularly good. And the biggest pain in the A with the pineapples wow. is, uh, you know, chopping them up, cutting them up, and this makes it super easy. Sometimes I look at a pineapple and I think, I want what's in you, but I don't know how to get you. Well, you know how to get it, but you just don't want to go through the No, the, because the process. I would just chop off the top and try to skin the skin off and yeah, I didn't. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I don't know what the best way to do it. But anyway, since we got this thing, it's been like pineapple air day. So this is how it works. You just cut off the top of the pineapple and then you pop this in the center and start screwing all the way down. All the way down, all the way down. And then you got to lift it back out and it makes a really horrible noise when you're lifting it out. There you go. <laughs> so there you go. Yeah, that's pineapple cora. Makes life super easy. And since we've got this, uh, we've had like way more pineapple. Yeah, so, we've been loving but... pineapple. My first thing, which is really gonna suck you into this video, I've got some cleaning supplies. <laughs> uh, probably should have saved these till the end. But I like to clean. It's not really <laughs> true, but I mean, I like to have a clean living space. As everybody knows, if you watched uh, one of my last videos I did with my friend Nikki. And I just think having a clean home is so crucial to your mental state. I like to get more natural cleaning supplies just because we have Reggie and I don't know, I just don't want him to eat something off the floor or get, I don't even know, it doesn't even make sense. And even just for us, like I don't like the idea of using really harsh cleaning products. Say you just cleaned your table and then you dropped a raspberry on the table and then you ate it. You're eating those chemicals. I think it's very true, especially with a dog, like, you know, even if you wash your floor with, like, a strong chemical, the fact yeah. that the dog, like, lies on the floor, yeah, and they, exactly. they cause, like, a bad reaction. So, anyway, I discovered this brand. It's called Myers. I actually bought this on Amazon because I can't find a place in London that sells it, but if you know, let me know. And, oh my gosh, you're even hooked on this. Yeah, because, well... The no, thing, this one you like. Yeah, this... This is dish soap, by the way. Yeah, and then... It just smells, this, this one's like a ba uh, basil, yeah, yeah. A basil dish, and it just smells like so different to the normal fairy yeah. stuff, so... And, and uh, even Aslan said to me, like, oh, that dish soap is really nice, I'm like, yeah. I know. So I got that one, it's basil, or basil, and <laughs> this one is geranium scented, because I've been obsessed with geranium scents. And then I also got this, which is a room freshener, and whenever we vacuum, I like to just, like, spray over the carpet or whatever with this stuff, because it smells amazing. And it makes our entire home smell really fresh, and... I'm just obsessed with it. In fact, I might just miss it right here. <laughs> wow. You just all over the all over the microphone. <laughs> you can't see it's right there. Like, I don't know why I felt need to do the microphone, but <laughs> So I guess it's my turn. Now this isn't an item or a thing, it's actually a human being. 
Yes, it is. Uh, or maybe my favorite YouTuber of the month, or of, for a while anyway. It's uh, The Needle Drop, Mr. Anthony Fantano. Yeah. Big fan of his music reviews. He is a music reviewer, but his thing is he does video music reviews. So there's lots of like, as you know on the internet, there's a big like music culture and uh, websites that review music through text have been around for ages. But he's like the first guy that I know of who's done like video music reviews. Mm -hmm. And he's like owned that. He is so good. He, he, his content is funny, witty, on point. His output is incredible. He literally makes like three or four videos a week. I think that's one of the most impressive things about Anthony. Like we always say, how can he just churn out these reviews? Yeah. And all of the reviews are so well thought out. It's yeah. not just like he just goes up there and is like, oh yeah, this is a really good album. Like he is so well prepared for everything. And like Aslan said, he's absolutely hilarious. It's not just, yeah, like, you, you could imagine, like, doing a music review would be quite boring. He's got this alter ego called Cal Chuchester, uh, and it's just like, and he's got, the whole thing is really thought out, and he has, like, this smaller channel that he hasn't really told anybody about, and the videos he makes on that are just kind of reactionary videos to what people in the comments are saying. It's just, it's just really funny. I would definitely recommend checking him out if you are even remotely interested in music. Uh, Actually, can I just say... I am not, like, half the bands that he reviews, I don't even really know about. Like, mm -hmm. I don't even really listen to them, but I find the reviews so fascinating. Like, <laughs> he'll, as them will be watching it, and I watch it too, and I don't even, I know that there's no chance of me ever listening to that album. Yeah. But I just love it's his videos, so yeah. Well, I, what I love is that a band I've never heard of, I'll, I'll just watch the review, and him describing it will make me so interested in it that I'll, it'll make me, like, find it on yeah. Spotify and listen to the record. Yeah. So I found, like, lots of new bands because oh, of his recommendation. Oh, uh, can we talk about the Nardwar thing? Nard oh, yeah. <laughs> and recently, I mean, we're giving Anthony a shout-out here, but he's been given a shout-out by the man, Mr. Nardwar, the human serviette himself. <laughs> um, Nardwar's, like, this Canadian uh, music geek. Uh, radio presenter and he's really famous for doing these kind of funny interviews with um, mainly artists yeah. but I think like a couple of months back he did a, a interview with Anthony Fantano yeah. and it was just crazy because he's never done an interview with a non-artist person I don't think so well when Aslan was scrolling through his subscription feed he's like oh my god <laughs> Anthony was like interviewed by Nardwar and we were both just like it was just like because I, I love Nardwar and, and obviously yeah. Anthony, so, so we'll link to too. Anthony's channel and also to the Nardwar interview as well because it's just yeah, amazing it's so Anthony keep doing what you're doing you're the bomb.com yes sir the next thing i want to talk about is this little travel journal and it's called perfect tree shapes and it's by one of my good friends fran fran is an illustrator and she's actually the one who designed the art for our vlog channel so she's very talented and i just adore her anyway but she spent a really long time creating this travel journal because she did a little bit of traveling in London and Paris. So as you can see, it's just filled with illustrations and quick little stories about her travels. And I think it's such a creative way to document a trip or anything or any part of your life. I wish I was this talented. I have to say I'm slightly biased because I'm in, I'm in the travel journal. So if you're interested in checking out Fran's travels, I will link to her site down below where you can buy this. I've kept like travel journals in the past and I think this is like such an amazing, like cooler way of doing it. Yeah. Like she's combining her art and her traveling and to make something like this, she's, she's gonna be able to look back like in 20, 30 years time yeah. and like not only have a just words about it, but all these drawings will help to like bring more memories, yeah. like, you know, so it's amazing. And it also gives you a real feel for what she was feeling or experiencing. Like there's, but there were some times where she became a little bit upset about certain things and you can really feel it because it's illustrated and mm. I just think it's amazing. So Fran, you should be so proud of yourself. This is amazing. And thank you so much for sending me my very own copy. So if you haven't figured out by now, I love food. I love cooking. Well, we love food. We love cooking. No. We love food, he loves cooking. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Although you've been trying cooking recently a bit more though. Like, you know, you've been, she's been dabbling, dabbling at the mm. cooking. So my favorite cookbook this month has been A Modern Way to Eat by Anna Jones. A collection of vegetarian recipes and I think what she's done is she's gotten kind of all the more traditional recipes and tried to zhuzh them up a little bit, make them more modern. You know, <laughs> more accessible, whatever that means, you know, means yeah. to, to people. So, but um, I would definitely recommend this. This is the kind of cookbook where all the ingredients are actually available in most places. This isn't like where you have to go to a specialty shop. Uh, 
everything is quite clearly written out. I've tried three recipes. Every single recipe has been delicious. Yeah. Uh, and I, 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 can, I can tell I'm going to be using this cookbook for many years to come. Wow. And if you're interested to see one of the meals that Aslan actually cooked from this book, I will link to a vlog that we did down below. What was it? It's some sort of a salad. Yeah, it was um, a uh, it was a quinoa uh, and green herb salad. Yeah, it was really really good. So I'll link to that vlog down below. And I have to say, I like that he's found this cookbook because he's cooking the food. I'm eating the food. Yeah. We're enjoying the food. It works well, you know. It works out great for me. I love to sleep, and I love to sleep in pajamas, and I love pajamas in general. And this next favorite is, believe it or not, a pair of pajamas. <laughs> so here they are. You can pretend I'm wearing this, guys. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> so here's the little pajama set. It's a little pair of shorts and a little tank top thing. And I got this from Topshop. I will link to it down below if you're interested as well. And I think it also comes with a robe. Like it doesn't come with it, but you can buy a matching robe. And I just love the pattern. Something about it, when I put these on, I just feel like, I feel like I'm on a trip or something. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Something nice about them. Yeah, it's got a, definitely an exotic feel. I can imagine like some sort of like uh, far away exotic princess wearing these. Yeah, something. like Princess Jasmine or something yeah, like yeah. that. You know? You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And Zaza would like to pretend you're like, I'm your Aladdin. And you're okay. <laughs> that went weird very fast. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> that went way too weird. No. <laughs> so our next item is a joint favorite and it's mm -hmm. not really a favorite it's more of like an exciting piece of information well i think it is a favorite because it's we've been like looking at it yeah. in such anticipation of what is to come okay so drum roll please okay this is the rough guide to scandinavia and why do we have this so why would you ever want a a guidebook to anywhere why because you're gonna be visiting it that's Boom. right ladies and gentlemen oh <laughs> Lion's Mane at Essie Button are going to be hitting up Scandinavia. Yes, we are. So for the past few months, we've been planning probably one of our dream trips, would you yeah, say? Yeah, I would say. It's, it's up there. It's up there with Absolutely. the most exciting trip ever. And Aslan and I will be taking a road trip across Scandinavia. So in August, we will be going on a big road trip around Scandinavia. Yep. And yeah, so we love Scandinavia. We love Dansk things, we love Swedish things, we love Norwegian <laughs> things, we love Finnish things. So we will be experiencing all those things yeah. via the road. Yes. And why are we so obsessed with Scandinavia? Why um, is everybody so obsessed with it? I think it's because whenever like anything in terms of economics or politics come, comes about, like there's, there's always a person who makes the argument, oh, you know, the Swedes do it better, or yeah, the, yeah. the Danish do it better. And then like... The Danish have come top in every single, like, the world's happiest nation poll, like, mm. since, I don't know, like, 1990 or something. They've just yeah. consistently come top. And all the other Scandinavian nations are, like, always in the top ten. So yeah. they're doing something right up there in the north. There's, something's going on that's making something's people happy. Something's going on. And we went to Copenhagen. That must have been last year. Yeah, I think so. And we had such an amazing trip. Um, again, we vlogged that, so I'll link to those vlogs down below. So we want to experience a little bit more of Scandinavia, mm -hmm. do the road trip thing. We love road trips. We yeah. fell in love over a road trip. Yes, we did. Technically. Yes. And yeah, just have a nice little summertime trip. So we're still in the planning process, but if you have ever been to Scandinavia or you're from any part of Scandinavia, let us know some things that we absolutely must do. I'm talking food, places, experiences, mm -hmm. festivals, anything like that. We are up for anything. And yes, we will be vlogging the trip. Yes. So there's that. Exciting news for you guys. Okay, so that's all we want to say about that. Should we wrap up this video together? So I think that's it for our other favorites this month. I really hope you liked it. And I hope it was fun for you to see Aslan in the yeah. hot seat again. In the hot seat? Yeah, the hot seat. The hot seat. Do, 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 do. <laughs> that was Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. I don't know. It was very good. It was a very good Thanks. impression. That was actually, I, I, I knew straight away. That was <laughs> did good. you? Yeah, I did, I did. That was good. If you want a little bit more of Aslan in your life, he has Twitter and Instagram at Lion's Mane, but the Lion's Mane is zero, not no. Yeah. Nothing else to say. We're wrapping it up. Wrap wrapping, it up. Wrapping. And we will see you in the next one. Bye. Bye. Say I hold the door for him and then he says, oh, cheers. I'm like, oh my God. Like I, my heart literally stops. Well, not literally, but it stops. And I start to be like, oh, like I get a little melty. <laughs>